very much. Thank you. 2016, we did it, we did it. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm very honoured to be here today. I'm delighted and thrilled that CPAC invited me. Me, a foreigner, in your country. But you know, it's a funny thing. Since November the 8th, since the election of Donald J. Trump, every time I come to America, I'm feeling a little bit more American, I have to tell you. When, in years to come, the generations that follow us study the history of this period, there is one year that will stand out. There is one year that every school child will know. And that year is the year of 2016. Because in 2016, we witnessed the beginning of a global political revolution. And it's one that is not going to stop. It's one that is going to rain across the rest of the free world. I had, I had been fighting against Britain's membership of the European Union for 20 25 years and if you if you've endured abuse if you've been called deplorable you've only had a few months of being abused I've had 20 years of it but you know what none of it mattered I always believed that we should govern our own country I always believed we should be free to reach out make our own deals with our real friends in the world. And it's funny, our real friends in the world speak English, have common law, and stand by us in times of crisis. So I battled away for all those years. I thought I might become the patron saint of lost causes. And then the referendum came along and we were told by vast sections of the media that we couldn't do it. We were told by many of the pollsters we couldn't do it. We were told by many of the commentators, any of this ring familiar with you guys? We were told by the commentators that we couldn't do it and they lined up all the big businesses, all the big banks, all the big politics, not just from Britain, but from across the world. Do you know we even had a visit from the 44th President of the United States of America.